to the compare and deploy. And I'm going to walk you through an example and let me first show you kind of in Zendesk uh, what I'm doing here. So on uh, here, I've got an article in my uh, sandbox environment. And it's an article that's linking to out to a request form. It's also linking out to a number of different articles. Um, and if I go to my sandbox environment, this is that same article. Uh, but here you can see it doesn't have that link to the form. It also only has a link to some of the articles. So during this deployment, what I'm going to do is up, update this article to include those links, as well to is to include any uh, any missing references. Like for example, if I take a look at this automation article. All right. So in Salto, how you would do this is I would go to the compare and deploy, and I would select from the source my sandbox environment. And from the target environment, I would select my production environment. And I would give this a title. So in this case, I'm going to call it update advanced usage article. Now, as soon as you click compare and deploy, um, it's going to instantly show you a uh, comparison of those two environments. So I would go to the modifications tab here and just to make it quick, I'm going to go ahead and filter to only show me the configurations that have my um, my initials. So here I see the advanced usage uh, article and actually, sorry, it's right here. So here I can see it's it's saying that these changes are basically going to update the body of the article. So I want to go ahead and add those changes. Now, as soon as I add those changes, you'll notice that it starts to flag a number of required dependencies. Um, but the important part here is going to be, it's going to flag any other references that, that don't exist yet in the target environment. Now, in this case, I've got a number of articles. So here I can see four different articles. And then I can also see a ticket form. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and add that ticket form. And I'm going to add all of those four articles. And then in total, even though I'm updating this, uh, what looks like it's just one update to one article, it's actually involving a number of changes because I'm needing to add a form, needing to add a number of fields. I'm also needing to add a number of articles um, that that article is, is linking to. Um, but SALT is going to take care of all of those changes as part of the deployment. So you don't need to, to um, do 26 deployments. Instead, you can just do one deployment uh, that includes all of those changes. At this stage, this is where you can uh, move forward with the deployment process because you've got everything selected. So you would click preview deployment. All right, so this in this deployment preview, it's given me a basically a summary of what will happen here. Now at this stage, I can go ahead and uh, and deploy, but now I'm going to go ahead and actually deploy these changes. So as soon as this is complete, we're going to see actually kind of a similar page to what we looked at earlier. This is going to be a summary of all. Now, this is going to be a summary of all of the changes that were actually made. Um, so again, this is a great place to review of the 26 elements that were deployed. You know, did anything fail to deploy? Was there any particular issues? And it's going to track that here. So let's say that there was an issue, um, something failed to deploy. Salto is going to call out um, what went wrong here. and it's instead of promote, you'll see a button that says fix deployment. And that deployment, uh, it will create a subsequent deployment that that uh, only tries to deploy any elements that uh, ran into those errors. So this is the target environment. This is my, um, my production environment. So let me just do a refresh. And uh -huh, here we go. So here we can see that now it links to that form, the category, the as well as all of those articles not only exist, but now they have a link to it. Um, 